Don't we all love to swim? After all, there's no other exercise that's fun and helps you stay in shape like swimming. But have you ever experienced anything weird in your vagina after a dip in the pool, such as itching or dryness? If you're wondering whether swimming is bad for your vagina, the answer, unfortunately, is yes. The main reason swimming is bad for your vagina is because of the chemical chlorine. Since the water in swimming pools is a breeding ground for bacteria, chlorine is used for cleaning. Chlorine can be helpful because it kills all the bacteria present in the water. However, not all bacteria are bad. As we know, our vagina has good bacteria that helps in keeping it healthy. But whenever you enter a pool, the chlorine also kills the good bacteria and disturbs the pH balance of your vagina. Unfortunately, chlorine can affect your vagina in certain ways and cause the following infections. Number one, yeast infections. Chlorine affects the pH balance of your vagina and as a result increases the chances of fungus to grow. This can ultimately lead to yeast infections. Number two, inflammation. Chlorine also causes inflammation as it disrupts the normal pH balance of your vagina. It may also cause allergic reactions in the vagina that makes it swollen or itchy. Number three, bacterial vaginosis. This infection can make the vaginal area incredibly itchy and is accompanied by smelly vaginal discharge. Bacterial vaginosis can also cause a lot of discomfort and pain. Plus, the discharge coming out of your vagina can also cause other skin problems down there. Number four, vulvitis. Did you know that chlorine affects the external area of the vagina as well? You can feel a burning or itching sensation on the skin of your vulva if it becomes too sensitive to chlorine. Now you're probably wondering what you can do to avoid infections this summer. Luckily, we have some pre- and post-vaginal care tips to avoid discomfort, pH imbalance, and bacterial infections. Tip number one, check ingredients in your intimate products. Make sure any of the intimate products you use, like lubricants, moisturizers, or hygiene items, don't contain dirty ingredients that can cause irritation or infection. Chemicals are taboo down there. One easy way to check this is to see if the product has water as an ingredient. If there is water, there are chemicals to prevent any bacteria from growing. <gasps> A great product to use after swimming is Clio. It is chemical-free and pH-optimized. The texture, it is thicker and less like a gel, and not watery is nice. No walking around feeling as if you're wet or like your underwear is wet. It is more like a balm. The fact that it stays there is great. Tip number two, don't hang out in wet or damp clothes. When you go swimming, change out of your wet bathing suit as soon as possible. The wet environment creates a breeding ground for bacteria that can cause infections. Tip number three, wear breathable clothing. One of the best things you can do for your vaginal health is to wear wear breathable clothing. Make sure to choose fabrics that won't trap moisture. I hope you found this video helpful. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more information on women's health.